how are you? And what's up, bro? This is Musa, Matt Meacham Jr. Signing in. Uh, today I'll do a reading. I, I, I was looking through some of my literature, some of the stuff that I've had been written, that I have written. And I'm, I go through it to see what, what am I going to share with my uh, listening audience. Well, what happened is I, I came across uh, one of my books. It's uh, what basically this book is another book that I'm working on. I hope to have this book. Fit. I have three books that I, I hope that, that I will, inshallah. I have three books that I will complete by the end of the year. Uh, and this one, I'm going to read something from um, my book that will, that will be entitled, Let's Talk. When I pull this book up on my computer, I uh, see, I, the thing is, like, I've been so many uh, books that, I, you know, I don't actually keep a, you know, I, I, it's easy for me to know what books that I've completed, but I, I don't just write down. I just don't keep a record of all the books, you know, like a ledger or anything. So I, I was trying to figure out what I want to read to my listening audience today. And the thing is, I, I was going through uh, some of my work, and, and then I saw my book that I, have, I do plan to have published by the end of the year. It's called Let's Talk. So I decided, I said, well, why not? I, I, I just want to see what, did, what what was I talking about in that book. So, you know, I pulled it up. I Googled uh, Let's Talk by Musa. I, met me to, I Googled it up to see what would I get uh, on the Internet. So what happened was I, I got a, what, okay, so this book, Let's Talk. Okay, I haven't published that book yet. But I did a YouTube set, and it says, Let's talk. And so when I Google, I came up with Let's Talk, but it's not the book Let's Talk. It's just the title of uh of the uh YouTube uh broadcast. And I you know, I I would suggest that you uh in your spare time in my list my uh, um viewing audience. Just Google up Let's Talk by Musa Ahmed Mitchell Jr. and you get a, a, a broadcast. And it's, a, it's quite interesting. I'm going to read something from uh, my book that is in the progress of being published. It's called Let's Talk. It won't be much, but I'll just give you some idea of... Uh, what, it, what, it, what the book would be, what, what it would be like. And I, I, this is the, the basically the introduction to the book. Uh, and it's called, the, the title of the book is called Let Us Talk. And, and here's my, intro, my introduction. The order of which things are run is based on a principle of opacity, where there is one who determines everything, and this same one offers rules of conduct where the human being must respect. In light of the latitude of choices, every choice the human being makes yields either a reward or consequence. Mankind is ordained with sensible competencies. With these, we can go in any direction we please. Our course always has 
a particular outcome based on the choices we succumb to. Let's, let's look at it this way. All of us have a soul. Can we, can we touch it? Or can we perceive our soul? The soul is detained by the body. This detainment is only a little speck in time and just a very tiny little thing. When the material body no longer can contend with the hounding of the soul, it deteriorates into an ultimate nothingness while the eternal soul bids for another vessel. So, is there really a God? Indeed, there is. God is all of us. Everything, all of us, are aspects of God's eternal form. There is. God is all of us, all of us, everything. All of us are aspects of God's eternal form. Consider the, the cosmic realities or and the cosmic assumptions detained by the mind. Now, the idea of the mind imposes itself. The mind is like the soul, unattainable, yet persistent. Most of us know that the soul is part of us all and within us. This is our key to eternity. There is but one energy, and we all <clears throat> are part of God. None of us is God, but just aspects of God. We are all part of God, although through an infinitesimal degree, God is all of us. Additionally, God is everything that exists. We never die. Because existence is forever. Immediately on the demise of the body, we become another aspect of creation. And this process never stops. So ultimately, all truths are alleged and subject to change depending on where and when in space the presumption is made. Let's consider the nature of death. The material body is changed to dust, ash, dirt, or dissolve into the air. The soul of the body it is air, something neither touchable nor perceivable. Air in space is still matter, still life. There's only one God, but there are many heavens and many hells. There are infinite amounts of everything. So this book that, that I'm um, 
uh, talking about here is, is my the will be the final book that I will write this year. I hope that I actually complete this book maybe by the end of the year. And, and the title of the book is "Let Let Us Talk." And basically, that that book would be a book of essays, and I think I would also include poetry. Uh, it won't be a novel. It won't be a play. It'll just be a book of. Um, and maybe uh, uh, I may write a few essays, but it, it, it won't be a play, um, a novel. But it, it would essentially summarize my basic philosophy. And all of the other writings that I will write would basically uh, center around that that philosophy which I maintain. Every time, you know, I, I, I turn on the computer and see the happenings of the world, you know, uh, it, it sort of, it, 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 it affects me. It, I, I'm affected. You know, I'm affected. You know, you think about uh, the things that happen to people, the things that happen to societies, the things that happen to cultures the things that we do, human beings, that we do to each other. But that's all part of the, the, this whole thing called existence. That's all part of life. And I think what happens is, once we can deal with these real realities, then it makes, us, it, makes it easy for us to cope with these realities. And I, many times I, I question my own Basic philosophy, and I, I think I said these. I said the okay, for instance, first I, I feel on my philosophical uh, leaning is this that we everything is preordained, and everything has happened, will happen, does happen, and eternal, eternity, infinity, things never stop. If and the thing is, when you get into these type of Thinking, thinking, you go into well, you go into you go into some very interesting places, and those interest, interesting places that you go, those interesting places that we go is in our mind. It's where the mind carries us. The thing to re, to to come to the to come to the conclusion. That everything exists, that everything has always existed, that everything goes on and on forever. It, 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 I guess it's sort of difficult for some people to deal with that. I guess the, the, the reason why you have so many different religions, different political philosophies, different social outlooks. But this is this is what perhaps in my philosophical as I look at things philosophic philosophically, even though I look at things philosophically, in one of the, one of those axioms of my philosophy is everything is preordained, which, which which means that even as I speak, it has been spoken before by me somewhere. So. Just, you have to consider the child. The child does not understand the things that the mature adult understands. So when you, we look at the human existence, all these things that are happening in existence, it is not for us to understand as a mature human being. What does a child know? What does an infant know? So when we look at the whole, the whole idea of human existence, what do we know about this gigantic, this, the entirety of this ma massive universe where all these things exist. 
Girl, this thing, this cerebral, this thing here, it's not equipped. It is not equipped to realize, to visualize, to understand the totality of existence. And no matter how many computers this mind can put out there, it, there, is an, there is an infinite distance. There is an infinite distance to the reality of everything. This is Musa. Matt Meacham Jr. Yeah. Sign it out. Oh, hey.